Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Peace out to the rest of you. Uh, Blackheart is uh, signing black in and shining again, asking you to hit that share button because the message is more important than the messenger. And uh, that being said, look, um, I want to go ahead and uh, tell you all about something that is being said more frequently recently. Lately, what we're hearing, and this really isn't lately, this has been going on for a while, to be honest. Um, there have been some sisters that nowadays like to say, oh, uh, you black men, you know, for not even nowadays, it's been a long time. They've been saying, oh, you black men are dominated and everybody's got their foot on your necks and you're not real men and every, every other man knows it and that sort of thing. I'm going to tell you how you know that that's not true. Um, ask brothers that travel. Now, what I want you to understand, and I'm only discussing this for a particular reason, I want you to understand uh, that these sisters that talk like this, what, uh, uh, they want something specific, and that is that they want to feel attached to a man that everyone else fears the way they fear the white man. That's what it is. That's, it's, it's the same thing as what BG has said. That's just another manifestation of the Miss Ann syndrome. Nothing more. They want uh, people to look at them the way that folks look at white women. What they don't understand is that the white woman is seen also in a negative light in certain areas, in certain instances. And that's what's, that's what's not understood by Sapphire. I've been told, and I saw this in one of my comments where um, someone said that patriarchy is not about fitting in in other areas with other men. Well, that depends. I mean, that's not patriarchy, but that's not being dominated either. She said patriarchy is winning, and what she means and what other sisters mean when they say this is go abroad. Make enemies out of the men that are not your enemies so you can win and dominate them so that I can feel equal to Miss Ann, whose man went around and dominated everybody else. She does not want to admit that Miss Ann, uh, Miss Ann's man, Zaddy, is the oppressor of the planet and everybody knows it. She don't want to talk about that. See, for all that these Arabs here say about black folks, uh, the way we look mostly, and calling us slaves. For all that, I can tell you this, they know who the oppressor of the planet is, and it's not Junebug, and it ain't Shine. It ain't you, Darrell, no. The oppressor of the planet is Zaddy, Mr. Charlie. They realize that, and they know that if they're ever studying in the United States, or in the West, and definitely in the U.S., and they run into trouble with the racists, it ain't us that's doing it to them. They understand that. Now, do I recommend that we never marry their women and that we don't allow their men to marry our women? Yes, I do. I know it sounds racist, so that's their fault, not mine. But that's not because they hate us. It's just because they keep on forgetting that we're equal. And that's different from hatred, although that's still bad enough. Now, let's factor this in. Let's take, for instance, going into Southeast Asia, where I was. To any of you other brothers that have been to Southeast Asia, come into the comment section and tell the viewers and the other listeners, do Southeast Asian men treat you with any kind of disrespect? Do they even make black jokes? Anything like that? Do you see anything like that? Do you hear anything like that when you go? If they make a joke, can they take a joke in response? And is it just a joke? Do you get treated better by them on average uh, than white folks will treat you white men? Or do you get treated worse or do you get treated the same? And I'm not going front. I've been around them and I've been treated better by them than some brothers have treated me. Some bloods, depending on uh, where I am. But that, that, this has happened before. And this is when I'm here in the Middle East and you have a lot of men from the Philippines working. And this is when I was in Southeast Asia 
in uh, uh, in, Mal in Malaysia specifically, and I was treated well, no issues. I was not mistreated for one second. And as a matter of fact, the buddy I made, very nice, quickly. And when I was with my wife, people in general were nice. So now I want you to stop and think for a second. If there are parts of the world where the men are not your enemies, and there are, where the men look at you as equals, and they do, this does exist, then why the hell should you go and make enemies out of them to impress a woman that uh, pretty much has insecurities because of another woman that she's not. That she thinks is more attractive than her, but actually is not more attractive than her. Seriously? Let's stop for a second and analyze that. And I'm saying this to you because, see, you, you don't have to address sisters personally if you don't want to, but sometimes they're your sister's. I mean, your siblings, some of them are your cousins, your aunts, maybe be your mothers or your grandmothers. If this is who they are to you and you have to talk to them, then you know what it is you can say. You want us. Pretty much what you're saying is you're mad because you're not the bully's girlfriend. That's what you're ticked off about. And you want to be the bully's girlfriend. Even though the bully can't really respect his girlfriend either. She's just his bitch. That doesn't matter to you because he's the bully. And the white man being the bully of the planet, yes, that is true. The Western European white man, that is. Um, she wants to be associated with him, but she knows she doesn't look like him, so she wants you to turn around and act like him. Start smacking everybody else around the same way. And what she's hoping for is that you will wind up with a bunch of enemies. Just so that she can feel like uh, she's somebody because it doesn't matter to her if everybody respects her man and likes her man. She wants everybody to be afraid of her man. Failing to realize that people already to a certain extent are. That, that actually the guilty men of the planet are the most afraid of us. Southeast Asian men ain't guilty of nothing. So they don't feel as afraid when we come around unless we get angry about something. And even then, they'll let you know you're being too loud. Player, what's wrong with you? See, this is nothing more but an adult version of trying to egg a man on to fight so that she can justify the fact that she still is sexually attracted to him and wants to take him behind the building and screw his brains out. That's all it is. She just... That's all it is. Now, if you are a sister, do not come in here with the comments talking about that's not what it is. If you're not one of those ladies, then you're not guilty. Don't say anything about it. I'm talking about the sapphires, the boom sheikas and the bonquishas that do try to tell us stuff like that, oftentimes under the guise of pro-blackness. But what they really want is for us to go out there and, and take bullets and kill and die uh, just to make her feel better about the fact that we come from her. That's all. That she's our natural counterpart. Believe you me. I've dealt with high Bristol Philly enough because I grew up on the Gulf Coast. Those are some of the most high Bristol Philly black and white women you are going to find in the West. Now they slick with it, but they are. Matter of fact, usually the white chick is slick with it. No, sister's not. Usually Sapphire, she, she will tell you to a, past a certain extent. They may not say it, and then some of them will. I didn't go out with him. I can't go to the movies with him because he can't fight. Well, actually, he can't. Well, girl, he don't look like it. I, I never seen him beat nobody up. That's the, actually the real conversations I'm quoting. I never saw him beat nobody up. I never heard about it. This is real, y'all. And so I recognize it when I see it in any culture. And I can tell you, I don't run across this in Southeast Asia. You ain't got to go around beating up some other man in order for my lane to respect you enough to be seen out in public with you at the movie theater. It'll go out with you to eat somewhere. You ain't got to be. Matter of fact, adults fighting is not really seen as uh, um, an adult behavior. It's childish. <laughs> see, um, but when it comes down to it, 
Sapphire and Boom Sheikah, 34 years old and older than that, they want to see you go out there and just beat up everybody else and eventually beat up the white man so that she'll feel vindicated. She'd rather see them shoot you to death out of fear of you beating them than to see you alive and healthy because she feels embarrassed that you survived that you lost an encounter with them due to their gunpowder, but that you still survived. She's not looking at what you survived. She's looking at the fact that they won. And that is actually something worse than any non-Western woman has done as a whole. You do not hear Indian women uh, talking this junk to Indian men. If they do, it's in private. And I'm going to tell you this. Don't think for one second that Indian women were not raped during the colonization of India by England. They were raped in large numbers. Do not for one second think that the French did not rape Vietnamese, in, uh, Vietnamese women when they colonized them. I've asked people about this just to get an idea. No, they got raped. And the women knew that it was not their own men that committed these rapes. And they didn't blame their own men. I'm sure they were traumatized. But they didn't look at their own men like he actually committed the rape. Start blaming them, their own men for the rapes and exonerating the British and the French who committed them. They didn't do that. Only... Even in, even in the continent, you don't necessarily see them doing that. Even on the continent, you don't hear about that. Well, you know, the Belgians raped us, but I'm going to go blame uh, Mobutu over here. I'm going to say Umbundu did it. And that's a real name, by the way. I'm not making it up. I'm going to sit up here and say that Umbundu did it, even though it was Jean-Jacques over there that did this. You don't hear that, that happening because it did not actually happen. Because they're not always up in contact with these folks. They do see white folks, don't get me wrong. But they're not always up in contact with them, scraping them and scrubbing their floors. Now, go back to the West and that's exactly what it is. So, do not let them get you in instigating uh, fights on an adult level just so she can feel better about being seen with you and associated with you. It's not fair to you. She'd rather you die for her prestige than for you to live for her prestige. That's why you can't live for her. The only thing you can do for these kinds of sisters that ain't really sisters in the beginning, and see the good ones at home, they ain't part of this, but the only ones you can do for these, only thing you can do for these kinds of sisters is die. And even then, they'll probably find something wrong with that too. I hope that one day this won't be true anymore, and in the meantime, I hope it benefits. Black Heart sign a blackout. Assalamu alaikum.